Hello! <laughs> How you doing? My name is DJ Orbitech. If you see my face going red, it's because I'm sitting in my car and there's brake lights in front of me. Or the car in front of me. Like now. You can see my face going red and it's shining in my face. It is getting dark. I am on my way home. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Thank you for to all your subscribers. Thank you for all your comments, positive and negative. Um, what am I talking about today? Today, today, I will be talking about mainly Comet Ison. <laughs> anyway, so Comet Ison. Will it? Won't it? It's mm, interesting. That's what it is. Anyway, so let's start with Comet Ison. Okay, let's 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 lay it down. Uh, lay it down with a bit of factual content, shall we? Uh, all you haters out there, all you um, soothsayers, all you uh, false prophecy believers, this is the shit, alright? Comet Ison is just a comet. It's not an alien spacecraft, it's not Nibiru, it's not Planet X, it's nothing like that, it's a comet. It's not being escorted in by alien spaceships, it is a comet. Now, if you've been watching my latest videos, you will notice that I included a video which uh, uh, was put out by NASA. Um, I've taken the audio extract from it and used some of the uh, actual um, pictures. Uh, <laughs> so, in the actual audio, which uh, the NASA narrator says, he says, and there's no way you can construe this as, as meaning anything else, perhaps it was a mistake on NASA's behalf. Um, but I find it hard to believe that it was a mistake on NASA's behalf because naturally any public announcement video which NASA release has to go through their quality department for uh, um, uh, obviously releasing to the public. So what the narrator actually says in that NASA video, and the NASA video is a, a comet ice on meteor shower, that's what they called it, and um, the, narr the narrator clearly says the dust, what, wait, I'll put it in there exactly, says one, um, one of the uh, uh, dust trails will be following Comet Ison into the sun. Following Comet Ison into the sun. It doesn't say following Comet Ison around the sun. It doesn't say following Comet Ison into the sun's orbit. It doesn't say following Comet Ison into the sun's sun's vicinity. He says following Comet Ison into the sun. Um, I'm not sure how you take that or how you understand uh, that audio text to be, but for me, there's no there's no confusion. There's no um, there's no, there's no way you can construe it any other way than what the narrator meant. Following Comet Ison into the sun. Implying that Comet Ison is going to hit the sun. Now, this, the videos I make, they're not to spread panic, they're not to spread uh, um, fear mongering or anything like that. Uh, my videos are made to ask, to raise awareness. I think awareness is a, uh, it's a missing trait. It's a, it's a dying trait within uh, um, within people, uh, characteristics. Um, to raise awareness and to question. If you're not sure on something, you ask a question. If you don't know, ask. So, comment ice on. You see I'm going red and white, red and white, red and white. That's a bit like me in the summer. <laughs> I go red, <laughs> I sunburn in summer, and I go back to white. I've only got two shades. Uh, brown's not... Um, I recognise shade with me uh, when I'm tanning, red and white. Anyway, so back to comment ice on. So, will it hit the sun? Well, NASA put out a comet ice on trajectory, okay? And that first trajectory which they put out, notice how I say first, uh, that trajectory uh, must have been incorrect as they've, they've now put out a second trajectory, or, or shall we use the word predicted tra trajectory? Now, um, there's no way they can be absolutely 100% correct at what this comet is going to do. Now, if it does hit the sun, now, as you're probably aware, comets hit the sun all the time. 
it, it's not a biggie. Um, nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about uh, uh, generally, unless unless the comet hits in the uh, glory spot. What is the glory spot now? NASA have already uh, uh, acknowledged this, and uh, various um, astrophysicists, well-known ones, and Scientologists, etc., etc. Not Scientologists, but scientists. <laughs> lots of uh, lots of uh, high-up people. They acknowledge the fact that when a comet hits the sun, not always, but a lot of comets, when they hit the sun, it causes the sun to uh, react. Now. For every action, there is always a reaction in life. It doesn't matter what you're doing or where you are or what, what it is. Uh, there will always be a reaction to an action. So, when a comet hits the sun, the sun gives off a flare. Now, I'm sure if you're watching this, you've probably heard of the kill shot. Now, I'm not a big fan of using words like that, like the kill shot, etc, etc. You know, if, if it happens, it happens. Um, nothing we can do about it. We're just going to have to live with it uh, or get through get through it um, so if comet ice on hits the Sun in the exact same right exact spot to cause a solar flare uh, X flare M flare whatever you want to call them uh, CME uh, we're talking we're talking uh, um, it's going to destroy satellites destroy our electronics if it if it's an earth placing uh, flare and if it's a biggie but it have to be a biggie okay now if it hits the uh, Hits the sun in the exact same spot, then it's going to cause uh, an EMP electromagnetic pulse, which will then knock out our satellites and knock out our electronics. Our electrics. That means going without TV, going over without cell phones, mobile phones, call them what you will. And uh, and they've already acknowledged that it could take, obviously depending on the severity of it, it could take up to 10 years to put right. 10 years, up to 10 years. Now, that's a long time. Now, that's a long time without power, that's a long time without water, that's a long time without um, your TV, your phones, your internet, that's a long time being shut off from the rest of the world. You wouldn't be able to take your car anywhere. Uh, I'm not sure what it'd mean for uh, anyone living near a nuclear power plant. Um, obviously, if there's no power going to it, obviously it produces its own power, but I imagine it must use some sort of electrical uh, uh, backup generations, maybe generators, and maybe I don't know. Uh, so you may even be looking at some sort of uh, nuclear meltdown, depending on how long it uh, it continues for the um, disruption which uh, a flare could cause. So it's not a case of what, it's not a case of where, it's not a case of when. It's, well, actually, it is a case of where. It's not a case of what or when. It's a case of where comet hits. Okay, so. NASA's confirmed it's going to hit the sun, or they've certainly implied it's going to hit the sun. Uh, whether or not they meant to imply that um, is, a, is a question which I cannot answer. Uh, and they haven't come forth. I have asked the question, I have sent them a mail, and uh, they have not explained the, um, the uh, misleading video which they produced. So, believe what you want, that's the best bet. You know, if you don't think it's going, if you think it's going to go around the sun, so be it. You carry on believing it, and uh, and and more for you if you if it's right. You know, um, if it does hit the sun, it's not a problem unless it hits in the exact spot, which causes a massive CME and um, disrupts the entire planet. So that's basically how it's going to go. So I'm going to go around the sun, and then we're going to get lots of debris, depending on the size of debris. And then that's just say it's going to be lots of particle debris. Uh, you size of comet you you may get a few chunks fly off uh, we're going to be passing through both streams the other thing which is interesting about the way the NASA, NASA narrator says it he says following comet ice on into the Sun and then the second dust trail will be heading away from the Sun because of the Sun's magnetic force which again kind of strengthens the fact that the comet will be hitting the Sun because as the comets coming in Obviously, it's got its dust trail behind it, but as it gets closer to the sun, obviously the speed it's going, as it gets closer to the sun, that same dust, tra dust trail will be pushed away from the sun, and the Earth will be going through both streams of dust particles. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, uh, you tell me. Uh, that's my views. Um, 
you know, I've presented you the evidence which I've got, which is uh, obviously the NASA narrator saying that uh, the dust trail is going to be following Comet Ice on into the sun, and uh, as I've mentioned before, I don't see how you can construe that any other way other than that the actual comet will be going into the sun. You tell me, I love you all, and um, yes, please do keep watching, please keep subscribing, and please share. Mwah.